All right. Hello, guys. Today is a recorded um, video, and it's going to be a little bit different. We are going to do some crafting, but we're going to go a little bit in depth um, with our paper crafting fun. So I have tagged this video paper crafting fun 101. And today we're going to be talking about adhesives. So Stampin' Up! has some amazing adhesive. I can say that I like them all. I'm not proficient with all of them, though. It's just kind of write everything, practice what you use and what comes easy to you. So we're going to go over um, a couple of things. We're going to talk about the different adhesives. I'm going to show you some sample cards and we are going to do some crafting with all sorts of different ad adhesives, right? So what adhesive do I use when I attach ribbon? What adhesive do I use when I um, have a 3D embossing folder with lots of texture or, um, oh, I meant to bring a 3D item over. Um, you know, if you're making a box or a little goodie bag, that kind of thing. So let's first off, let me make my desk bigger. And hopefully you guys are having a great day. And um, if you're watching this, I will be traveling when this video goes live. So, um, okay. Adhesive in the annual catalog for the year 2023-2024 catalog can be found on page 138. And um, some of these adhesives have like a specific, well, we'll get to it. Anyway, I'm jumping the gun here. You know me, I can start rambling about all sorts of things. Okay, so number one in our Stampin' Up! catalog for adhesive is dimensionals. We love dimensionals. Let's see, I have packages of dimensionals here. And I was going to take a picture of my desk, the filming desk, um, beforehand, and I didn't, but I will after, and maybe I'll post it to remind everybody when this video goes live. It's a mess. It's just a mess. It's what it is. Um, okay, so we have a couple different kinds of dimensionals. We have Stampin' Dimensionals. These are self-adhesive foam mounts. So... They're sticky on both sides. You're going to peel them off. They're, um, what is this, a hexagon shape? Um, and they are going to give you a little bit of pop on your card, right? So we have the regular size ones. These are regular. We have the mini ones. And I wanted to show you nice, clean packages instead of... Um, the U sheets and don't forget you always want to use your outer edge too. You can cut, cut that up and use that. You can use it um, for all sorts of things, big rectangles, shaker cards. You can, um, you know, don't forget to use every, every bit of it. We also have them in black. So these come in a combo pack where you're going to get the big ones and the mini ones. You get 200 pieces. Wow, that's a lot. Okay. Um, and as you can see, it's black foam. And let me take one off. See, black. So that's really good for um, your darker colors if you don't. Um, I wouldn't say that I use these too much, but if your um, adhesive is right on the edge and, you, and you're using dark cardstock, right? So that would work. Um, I think I'm going to need these, so we'll go from there. So number four is the foam adhesive strips. So those are, they come like this, two packages to show you guys. They come in um, this kind of package that they're long, right? So you're going to be able to cut them. You would use these for your shaker cards. Absolutely, your shaker cards. Anything that um, you need this long. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. 
can you see their their strips so that's pretty cool they come already uh, cut for you strips like that okay so we have those um like i said shaker cards this isn't a shaker card but it would have worked good here um anything that you want a like rectangle for that would work um let's see number five is your foam adhesive sheets so what this does is it's a blank sheet now why would you want a blank sheet well um i think we're going to cut one out for you in a little bit and i will show you why you would want one but anything that um is small that you want to pop up right now i'm thinking we have um i think they're called a la carte the alphabet let me look i'll just get them for you since they're right here so like this alphabet if you wanted to put something like somebody's name or um something on a card and you wanted the whole thing popped up you could run this through the stamp and cut emboss machine and that way it would be super easy to just peel the backing off of that and then add it um, to your card now you want to put your card stock on one side right so you would put your peel a little bit off i always cut like the paper to what i'm doing you want to make sure that you're going to run this through the right way right like the card stock and then you would peel off the back and add it to your card. So hopefully that makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna put these to the side because I think we might use those on the card we're gonna make. And I will, I don't think you can really see the um, closet, but sometimes it's kind of messy. And I'm also sitting today. I normally stand when I'm creating a card and I'm trying to sit so that I am in the same spot and underneath the light. So um, let me know if you are watching. That would um, help me out a lot. Thank you very much for being here. And let me know what your favorite adhesive is. I think we all gravitate towards um, a certain one. So let me know if you have a favorite. Okay. All right. Let's move on to um six adhesive sheets we're going to talk about them and we're going to use them but adhesive sheets are big long sheets and they're sticky on both sides and again um like here's cardstock we would peel off one side stick it onto the cardstock run your die through the machine and then you peel off the back side and it's a big giant sticker and we're actually going to be doing that here so but um these are great for a lot of things but especially your intricate cuts so like this card i use the adhesive sheets with this leaf branch image so um, i did not want to have to use glue on there or try to get seal on there so the adhesive sheet i just put the paper like i said put paper your adhesive sheet your die goes on top of the cardstock run it through the machine and you um you get a big giant sticker which is pretty cool right so there's that card using that adhesive Okay, um, let's see. Next one is the clean adhesive. We're not going to talk about that. That has to do with remounting your um, wood stamps on to make them um, cling stamps. So that's not really something everybody would need. Um, mini glue dots. Mini glue dots. We gotta love our mini glue dots. So they come in a box like this. And big giant roll. 
And then your glue dot, let's see, can you see? Yep, there you go. That glue dot, every so often, there's a glue dot. I love these guys for probably the thing I use the most would be attaching ribbon. So, um, oops, not under there. Let's see, this card, there's a little glue dot underneath this knot. So if you're tying a bow underneath the knot part, you can always um, put a glue dot underneath there and then just push it down and it sticks beautifully. Like this little guy right here. So this is pretty small. Those glue dots, you can squish. So I would put the glue dot underneath the knot and just kind of pinch it together so that um, you can't see the glue dot and stick it onto your uh, project. So that is how I use glue dots. There's some other things I would use glue dots for. Um, let me see if there's anything on this card. Sometimes if there's um, a little space on something, like, like if this was laying flat, this is on dimensionals, but if this guy, if I wanted this guy to lay flat, I would put a glue dot underneath maybe a couple of these circles to adhere, right? So anytime there's maybe a small little space and you're not going to get seal in there, we'll talk about seal in a minute, but if, if your tape runner isn't going to be able to get in the little nooks and crannies, glue dots are good. I also wanted to talk, they're not in the catalog, but if you get any of the Stampin' Up! kits, Paper Pumpkin, or the Stampin' Up! kits, you're always going to have extra glue dots. These guys, um, and I use these all the time for the projects that come in the kit, or um, again, little pieces. They're, I just had a card, like, um, I don't know, just, um, like maybe a little leaf or a flower or a stem, and there's just enough spot for a glue dot. So, um, oh, I know. It was on the card we're gonna make in class. <laughs> I was like, where was I using the glue dots? Um, so like if, if any of these, maybe we're gonna be using some of these. These are kind of small, but, um, you know, like when you cut this out, and maybe you want to put a glue dot in the bigger part, like right there, to stick it down, which we may do. Who knows? Okay. So those, and these are just a smidge smaller than the ones you get here. Um, so they're different. And these are, you need to peel the um, this paper back. So I usually use my, my pick a tool and I usually stab it and kind of push it to the side and it comes off. I'm not going to do it on my finger, but that's how I get those off. Or you pick it with your nail. Okay, so that's glue dots. Let's see, glue dots. Uh, the next adhesive is tear and tape. So tear and tape, kind of exactly why it's called, it's double-sided tape. And I'll tell you that we've used this on things other than craft projects. It's gone in, in, a, in the garage a couple times for stuff. Um, what's the weirdest place I've used this? Um, like the molding on the floor in between two different like tile floor and laminate floor. And the molding was being, was pick, picking up a little bit. I stuck some tear and tape on there and it stuck perfect. It was crazy. Um, so let's see. Okay, tear and tape is probably the strongest um, adhesive that we have. Super strong. You're going to want to use it for your, th your 3D projects. So if you're making a box, and let me go get I'll show you. So if you're making a box um, and to hold everything down, you're going to want to use tear and tape. It's really, really strong. Okay. If um, I made these for our class that's coming up as a little thank you, and I use tear and tape. So I just 
stuck a little bit and it just comes off and then you peel the top off. So super, super strong. Um, or anything with a lot of texture. So some of the 3D embossing folders, right? We have thick 3D embossing folders and there's a lot of texture on this um, design here. And I will use tear and tape for that to make sure that it's got a nice strong hold in all the nooks and the crannies. Sometimes the seal just isn't strong enough for that. So, um, I mean, I haven't had any complaints with the seal, but I just wanna be extra careful and get in all those little nooks and crannies. So that's tear and tape. All right, next, stamp and seal. So stamp and seal, I'm a stamp and seal girl. I love the tape runner. It's easy, it's quick, and um, it lasts a while. I won't say it lasts a long time because I'm making a lot of cards, right? But um, the stamp and seal is my go-to. It's my personal favorite. Not everybody loves it. I get it. Um, so you can order the stamp and seal with the case and then you get the seal, right? The cartridge. Then when this runs out, do not throw away the case because you get refills. So you order more refills, you put them in the case, and then you're good to go for another, um, however long it lasts for you, you know. <laughs> I've never tracked how long they last for me because I end up having like a handful of them all over the place and I, and I keep using them, so I'm not really sure. Um, I just heard a demonstrator say that she probably goes through one a week. So kind of depends on how much you're crafting and which, which um, adhesive you gravitate towards, right? So there is seal. It is um, a, what am I trying to say? It, it takes some practice. This right here, you can see there's a little um, texture. This side wants to be up. You obviously want to be able to read the um, the words on the refill. Ooh, my cassette is, or my case is very dirty. Uh, <laughs> just means that it's well loved, right? Um, a light touch, okay, a very, very light touch. And if you're not getting any adhesive on the roller, all you're going to do is just kind of roll it up a little bit like this, and then it will start going. Um, we can do, well, I'm going to make a card, so I'll show you when we make the card, but definitely a light touch. You don't want to, this is my personal experience. I'm sure everyone has a little bit different, but you don't want to be up too much. You don't want to hold it like this. I hold mine like this. And um, get the the adhesive out of there like that. Okay. So, but we also have another um, another um, one that looks just like this, except for the the cassette is dark blue, and it's called Stamp and Seal Plus. So, Stamp and Seal Plus. For those of you that have been around Stampin' Up for a very long time, we had drawing a blank now we had another adhesive that was super strong um and this that is the equivalent to this but so stamp and seal plus it's instant bond permanent adhesive strong seal adheres to 3d projects and heavier layers uh securely now both of these are acid free so you could use them in scrapbooking absolutely um and huh, side note scrapbooking who wants to start scrapbooking again? Raise your hand. Um, I have pictures printed, so hopefully this summer I uh, I get my my scrapbooking on. Okay, see squirrel. All right, so stamp and seal. Um, this one I have a hard time with, just personally. I know other people that love it. Um, I fight with it like I had a toddler. 
I did have a toddler at one time that I fought with a lot. So, um, but this is probably, um, I just don't use it enough. I haven't played with it enough. So if you love it, rock on. Okay. Um, the heat and stick powder, we're going to talk about another day that has to do with um, like leafing and best, like gold leafing and stuff. And that's not what we're talking about today. Um, the next one after that is what I refer to as green glue. It is the glue itself is not green. It's a bottle of liquid glue. It's made by Tombow. Um, it's multi-purpose. Um, it uh, has a narrow tip. Ooh, it's very mucked up. Has a narrow tip. And then it also has kind of a flat tip. I am using this a little bit more than I used to. Um, I sometimes feel like a messy kindergartner when I use it. I tend to get glue all over the place, but I'm practicing. And practice makes perfect, right? It's like I used to tell the kid, practice makes perfect. So, um, but this is also great for if you want it to have a little bit of give, like seal is permanent. You put that seal on cardstock and that cardstock um, is, or the paper is going to go on cardstock. It's going to stick. To get it off, you're going to have to to pull it off, right? This gives you a little bit of give. So one of the main ways I use this is when I'm decorating my envelopes. So you know how we take the designer series paper and we put it on that back flap of the envelope, um, which I do not have an envelope here to show you, but this works great because you can put this on that back flap of the envelope you always want to start in the middle of your paper and then work out to the edges because you don't want to squeeze and get a big like glop out um and so you can put that paper on top of the glue that's on the back flap and um it has a little give it has a little bit of give so um or we're going to be using it on the card today too because i'm going to show you um if you want to get in little tiny spots and stuff this works well too okay so what's after that we have the fine tip glue pen so um the fine tip glue pen is exactly what it says perfect for adhering small embellishments um like these little guys like if you want to put some glue on these little branches. This is very, a very, very fine tip. Can you see that? Let's see. There you go. It is like smaller than a needle. It's so fine. Now, oh, they changed it. They changed the lid. Nice. Okay. So you want to get the um so there's this in here right that's and you're going to put it in the fine tip now why are we doing that so that your glue one doesn't dry out and i should probably take my glasses off to do this let's see if i can do it oh, i think i got it oh good okay and also i think the old style the lid was black that was a lot harder to see <laughs> this is much easier oh i'm so glad i ordered a new one because I have an old one, but I, I don't use it much. So, um, but this is, um, let's see, what does the catalog say? It says, perfect for adhering small embellishments and detailed die cuts to project. Cap includes pen to keep the tip clear and prevent drying. And this cap, I will tell you, is amazing. This new design, I didn't realize it was a new design rock on i'm gonna start using this guy now so you definitely want to keep this um you know within reach it will be a go-to and we'll probably use it on the card now that i know that little tip Ooh. um i do know some other people that like buy the glue and they transfer it into a different bottle um i don't i've heard of that i don't really know anything about it because i haven't done it myself 
Okay. So that is the adhesive. There's one other thing on the page 138, which is the silicone craft sheet. I love that guy when I use it for when um, I'm doing projects. Like the craft, the glue is not going to stick on to the paper, right? Like I definitely should have brought it over here. I should probably keep one on this desk, actually. Thank you for the idea, guys. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I've been talking a lot. If you guys know me, I don't talk this much in real life. Unless it's about paper crafting fun. I do love talking about paper crafting fun. <laughs> okay, so, um, but the silicone craft sheet, uh, ooh, say that five times fast. No, thank you. Um, I, I love it. And it's over on my other desk over there um, because the glue doesn't stick to it. it. It's pretty easy to get off. Okay. So we are going to make a card and you guys are going to see me make um, a red card. You guys know about red. So red on stands, what I'm talking about is a color, obviously, but on Fridays I post red cards for um, Remember Everyone Deployed. So being a military family, um, and I think even if I wasn't, I hope I would remember all of the people that are um, deployed and serving our great country. Okay, so we're gonna be making a red card. And this is Sweet Sorbet. I have a piece of paper here, designer series paper from the masterfully made um, pack. I love this. I, this was one sheet I almost didn't cut up because I think I might want to frame it. I might buy, you guys know, um, if you're watching this video in June of 2023, that designer series paper is on sale. I'm going to be buying some because I think I am going to frame this one very pretty. Okay. So we are going to take this guy and actually I'm going to show you where I got the idea for this card. So I'm pretty much, I think, going to be copying from the catalog. So there's that. The timeless arrangements. All right. So we're going to use seal. This seal, we're just going to take it down like so. We're just going over the, um, the edges. Now, like I said, this is pretty quick. Like it sticks fairly quick. Okay. Oops. There we go. All right. Now, oh, I didn't bring any ribbon over. Hmm. Okay. Let's, I did bring an ink pad, so we're gonna stamp something. Let's stamp a greeting on here. So, let's see, all these greetings, what will fit in there? Um, how about, I really appreciate you. It'll be like I sent you guys a card in the mail. Hopefully, if you're watching this, maybe I have sent you a card in the mail. Have I? Let's see. Okay. I thought I had, okay. I thought I had a foam mat over here. I guess I don't. We're going to try it. Okay. There we go. Let's see. Nice. All right, so what other adhesives are we going to use? So like I cut these out and um, I was, I'm gonna show you how I would attach them. So we're kind of gonna be building a background for this, uh, not adhesive, for this label. And so I think I want the label right there, right? But 
Okay. So I'm going to take the green glue and we're going to just dot. Okay. We're going to go pretty small over here. Can you guys see that? Let's see. I think so. Oops. I'm going to pop those out. Not everyone has to be attached. It's fine. We're going to do um, some pretty big layering here. So we're going to go with it. I'm going to put that guy down like so. Okay. I did want to show you the, um, so there's the green glue. Maybe I should start putting them off to the side as I use them. Here are, let's do, let's see. Can't get too big here because you can't go too wide. Let's see. Bring this back in. We're going to go this way. So we're going to use glue dots. Right? <clears throat> so for these glue dots, all I do for the most part is put my cardstock or my paper, or whatever, and then um, pull it off. Okay. Or if you, um, you want to not touch it so much, right? Like, or you can take your pick a tool and put it on whatever you're you're doing. Or if you have your ribbon, right? Okay. So we're gonna add this guy this way. Where's my label to keep in mind where I'm going with this. Okay, and then let's see, let's do this. Let's use the self, um, not the self adhesive, but the adhesive sheet. I'm gonna put this guy away. Okay, so adhesive sheet. You have your piece of cardstock. This um, I always cut it to the to the piece of cardstock like so and then i will actually i have a, a drawer that i just put all the leftovers in because you never know when you might need a little tiny piece of that color that already has adhesive sheets on it and also when you cut up the adhesive sheets if you're cutting it to like match the die sometimes you end up with bits and pieces and i save those because you can always kind of piece them together, like Tetris them or Jenga them together, right? So like you could use this and cut that out. So you, you want to save your little tiny pieces too. Okay. Now we're going to put our die and our um, cardstock through the machine. So... So, oh, I think I was going to do the, um, the foam sheets with this guy. Oh, well. The same thing, you would do the foam sheets, these guys, the same way. You would just put that, make sure that it's on the bottom, right, and attach your cardstock through, or on the, attach your cardstock to one side what I was trying to say. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are still with me. We're going to put this through. I'm actually going to go through again just because you see my dirty plates for class tomorrow. I have new plates so they get new, new shiny plates. That's always exciting. I think it's exciting. <laughs> okay. Now, we are going to take this out and, yep, we're going to poke it out. So you take your, your uh, pick a tool and you poke out the little holes like so. And then you can poke these out too. 
Um, if we didn't poke those out, most of the time, when you peel the backing off, they'll stay with the backing. Sometimes they don't. It just kind of depends. All right. So we're going to peel off the backing like so. That's trash. We're going to add it to our... So we are just... You know what? I think we're going to go upside down with this guy. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. All right. We're going to go upside down with this guy. And it doesn't even need to be. There we go. There we go. So this is one of the few times if you if you watch one of my videos before, I typically have a sample card that I'm that I've already created and I'm and then I'm going to make another one here this time. I didn't do that. So we're kind of flying by the seat of our pants here, <laughs> which is okay. Talking about adhesives, paper crafting fun, uh, set inside, setting aside some time to, um, to be creative. I love it. Okay. So let's see, we might, this guy, we're going to cut this off because I don't want to see it under the label. And we're going to, yeah, there we go. So we are, let's see, what, oh, I know, we'll use this glue. Okay. Can you guys see that on the, we'll use this. Oh, I was looking for this earlier when I was stamping. <laughs> okay. So this is the first time I've used this. So I'm definitely going to put this on a piece of um, paper. Let's see. Is there a little, yep, see? So when um, you get this at home, there is a cover for it, which makes sense because we don't want it to dry out, right? Okay, we're going to screw this back up. And oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, we're going to hit the little leaves. Ooh. Now, how can we fix that? Let's see. How can we fix that? We're going to take some cardstock. And I want it to be cardstock because I want it to kind of absorb a little bit. There we go. And then. Ooh. No more dots, no more bubbles. I mean, okay. Oh, there's another bubble. More cardstock. Good thing I have a trash bin right here full that I haven't emptied out yet. We're going to burst those bubbles. And we are going to learn together on this guy. There we go. Just a little dab will do you, right? Not a heavy hand at all. Okay. Now, let's throw this away because I don't want to get my fingers in it. We're going to flip this guy over. And we want him to go like so. There we go. And then push down. Okay. Now, I'm not too concerned about these guys that are popping up a little bit because I'm going to put dimensionals on this label and sit it um, right. And that's going to cover up that guy, but that's okay. Okay. Dimensionals. Um, let's see. I know they're here. Um, we didn't use tearing tape. Hmm. Maybe we'll use, oh, there's the dimensionals. 
Okay, we'll use the baby dimensionals. There's the mini dimensionals. And these guys, I just kind of start in a corner and work my way out. There's no right way to use dimensionals. There's no right way on how many dimensionals you're gonna use on your, on your project. It's all um, what you feel. Like something like this, I would definitely put one, at least one in the middle because you don't want it to bow. So definitely you want the corners, but don't forget the middle. Okay, let's see. Do we want any more of these guys? I don't think so. I think that's enough. Well, maybe we might do that one. Okay, so we're gonna cut this guy and we'll use Terran tape. So Terran tape, this is kind of a small place for Terran tape, but we'll cut it to fit. And it's gonna be hidden underneath the label. Um, and then I think we'll use these glue dots also. I'm gonna stick this over here, so hopefully it's not in my way. So these little leaves, guys, we're gonna put little, um, the kit glue dots. Now the only way you can get these glue dots is if you get a kit, but um, there we go. Oops. And it's stuck to my finger. Okay, so the tear and tape, we're just peeling this away, peeling this away. I could have left it down here. Let me see if this will work. That's how I typically do it. I kind of poke it and drag it with my picket tool. Okay. And let's see. Do I want it there? Okay. There we go. So this is just um, a bunch of layers on here for dimension, right? And then we're going to add our label, our sentiment, our greeting, like so. So that, let's see, I think that's all. Let me see if I can do this again, too. Ooh, first, yeah, I, that's awesome. Okay. So here is our red card that I will be posting on Friday and, or actually it was already posted because it's this Friday and you get, this video is going to come out on Monday. So hopefully you enjoyed uh, the little discussion about all of our adhesives. I love them. And my goal for this year, let's just talk about it, is to start using them all a little bit more, right? They all have different uh, purposes. And why not? I have them, so let's use them. All right, so Paper Crafting 101, video one done. There um, will be another one of these about something else. We'll see what that's about. Maybe it might be blending brushes. Are you guys seeing a theme, A, B, C? Um, do you guys know that in my 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 youth i thought i was going to be a teacher and now i'm a paper crafting fun teacher so i think it worked out but um okay you guys have a great day and hopefully you, you found some useful information in this video give me a, a thumbs up a like if this is the first time watching my youtube channel if you could subscribe that would be awesome and um let me know what you think. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.